Now if you're looking for a nymph pattern uh, to fish in really fast and sort of deep water, you need a fly with less resistance in the fly, meaning a pattern that will sink extremely quick and get down. And uh, this is a nymph pattern that was devised by the, the Spanish uh, Spanish competition anglers for the fishing in the fast water and uh, it proved very effective as most people will know that the Spanish have been world champions a few times. Now this is a pattern, as I say, it cuts through the surface. You can fit the bead size, this is a 2.5mm, you could easily put a 3mm on this. Uh, and you can even chance a lot and put a bigger one on, but I'm only using a 25 so, and it's a tungsten bead. Now, quite simple to tie this fly. Jig hook I'm using, this is a, a full mill. mill. It's this one here. It's, uh, it's called the, the Jig Force Fabulous. Size 16 I'm using. No, as a 16 it's big, These, this style of hook. Uh, I would say that's more like a 12 if it were a standard size. But the 16 is a popular size, especially this time of the year. Now, the thread I'm going to start off with, I'm going to start off with the fire on thread. I'm just going to build up the thread turns, especially near the, the bead itself. So that it jams the, the bead in and holds it. And at the same time what I'm going to be doing is putting a good layer of thread down and saving the, the micro glint. Now we take the thread to the back of the hook. We tie in some Coq de Leon fibres. These are just white Coq de Leon. Now don't be shy with them. They're quite fine fibres anyway. So we've got the tail on, just about the body length. Let's tie them on top. I usually make sure that's onto the bare hook and then just to flare the fibres that come underneath with a turn and then what I'm going to do is form a small tag with the thread trim away the waist to the tail fibres and then carry one up and just when you build the thread up a wee touch looking down two thirds of the way and then come back up a bit more at the thorax area and then we change over the micro glint I'm using is brown is this one and you can see it's a, a lovely colour it's a nice blend it's like a more rainbow than anything and just a brown then we start at the, the head of the the nymph catch in the thread then we trim away the waist piece of so the glint and fire on thread just going to build up a wee bit of the thread at the top first and work my way down leave a small tag with the fire on thread and then work my way back up it's very simple then for me it's, and you can mix these colours now what I'm going to do is come down and come back up so if I start to come back up I'm just going to whip finish now when you're whip finishing the micro glint nice and light three turns or so. Just run your take it take your time because this is going to be held together with uh, a resin and varnish so you see that's basically it. That's the nymph shape of the tie and you're going to get always get that weak kind of space there because of the the, bio, uh, the bend and the, the jig hook. We can always just put a wee bit of resin in there just to fill it up. Get the contact there we go. That just pinches that bit off. Just set it. Now I'm going to colour up the thorax with a marker pen. Just turn it upside down. Just get a permanent marker. Just going to mark the bead a wee bit as well. Now what you like best to do is to allow this to dry before you add the red or put the resin on it. And I'll do that, I'll just leave it a wee bit. Now once the, the marker pen's dry, what we can do, I'm just going to lower the hook a wee bit so I can get the resin to sit on it. So I'm just going to tiny bit there, this is, you can use a, a regular or a light, and then highlight the thorax, the thorax area, especially the, the area where I put the permanent marker. 
like that to set. And then we can just finish off with the resin all the way around, put a wee drop in the top, and then we can spread this. To rotate your vise if you can. You want this nice shape, you want to get the shape of your nymph. Once you're happy with the shape, just come in with your torch, set the resin. All the way around. Give a wee bit of time to, to set. Then what I normally do is get a thin and a fine coat of varnish. Lightly apply it all the way around. This will seal and take any tackiness away from the, the resin. And there we are, that's your Spanish nymph. That's the, the Perdigon, uh, as they call it, or a version. There's the many colours that will work. And you see it's very simple. It's got to get down quick, that's why it's like that. Now I have, I'd, being a fly tie, you're always going to experiment. Now here's another version that I've tied. Where I've put some legs underneath. And... Uh, you can do that, but this one will not drop as quick as the one without the legs. If you need to get down quick, that's the one to use. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.